YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Chip the Hustler, man. And we back with another reaction. Man, it's still another recommendation from my boy D. I don't know if D is D. I'm pretty sure D, D is a he. But if he ain't, D, it's for you. <clears throat> um, uh, I just went ahead because, like I said, man, when I be doing these reactions or these reviews, I just go, I screenshot with y'all comments, and I just, I read them, shout you out, delete them. But he put, like, a few recommendations in one, so I'm just going through, through. Cause I gotta go work in a few, so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just knock some of these bitches out. I'm gonna try to do like seven, seven before work. But anyways, hey man, it's your first time stopping through. Feel free to hit the like and the subscribe and drop a comment once you finish the content. It's 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 free. It's free. It it it, it can't pain you that much to be like, oh, I'm not gonna like this. You helping me, bro? You helping another human being reach their aspirations by just hitting a like. You ain't got to drop a comment if it's too much. You can just hit the little subscribe. You can cut the bell off for our locker. But, hey, it's free, bro. But either way, let's go. Let's get to it, man. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, real quick. He said this is the song or the yeah the, the song that blew uh, Benny Banks up. So I am interested in seeing what happens. See, most niggas don't understand this rhetoric. I tell niggas all the time. Look, brother. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about me. Because I'm willing to take this farther than most of you really are ready to take it. So if you really want to go to war, okay, somebody else going to raise your babies. But that shit true, bro. Like, you got to have that mentality when you outside, bro. They bring in the bell, call me the new rap champ. Where the hell is my belt? I put a bore to your neck and now you pissing yourself. I got man them that will ride and that will sit in a cell. They load up a free five, yeah, they fill it with shell. They put a stroller in your face and now be shitting yourself. Check it. The barrel starts spinning for real. You see the bullets burst out at the tip of the still. My name's Banks and I don't share shit with a girl. I scream money over bitches, I just give to myself. It's like ride and die. Straight up a rifle life, I ain't got a nine to five, so I have to ride for mine. Call me Mr. Skateboarder, cause I grind for mine. And I was tired of being brass, now it's time to shine, ride the dad. Straight up a rifle life, I ain't got a nine to five, so. Bro, it looks cold as hell. That nigga drinking Kavas here, too. I know it's cold. Whew, I hate the snow, bro. But if this is the song that really blew him up, I would, uh, and it was one of his first ones for sure. Like, bro, to have a, a song like this and it being one of your first ones and you wrote it, and it had this type of, like, thought out into it, for sure. Because I done heard niggas' first songs. I done heard a few niggas' first songs and been like, mm, I ain't fucking with it. Because they can't really write hooks or, like, the verses be so par, bro. Like, they don't have no type of, you know, just no no type of fire, no, no type of power to it. You know what I'm saying? It'd be just like real, real like bubblegum type shit. So if this is his first song, it's the one that got him out there, I can fuck with this shit. Because most niggas, like I said, like they start from zero. And his zero not bad. See, see, now I'm not saying that this is like, I'm not saying that it's, uh, I'm not saying that these are elite level bars. I'm just saying like, for this to be one of your first songs, bro, 
like first songs, and this is what got your claim to fame, then I can co-sign it. Because the shit that niggas put out now, bruh, I can't co-sign none of that shit. I don't care how like catchy it is, bro. Like, I think the the formula and the cheat sheet to make music now and to and to like become that, bro. It, the, like the the grading rubric is real slim to none. Like, bro, you just need four things. You ain't even gotta be a cool looking person. You just have to like rap about some crazy stuff on a beat, and you gotta have a couple guns. If if you if, but the thing is, is if you do that, you got to go down that rabbit hole, bro. Like you, it's like, it's almost like being something you not, or even if it is something you are, but it's just like, bro, you have to like take on that. You know what I mean? And I just don't think, I think that's a coward's way in. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, bro, you doing some dirt. And then you killing yourself when you get ready to go to jail, or you doing some dirt and you go get in there with the police and you start telling on on niggas and shit. That's the type of shit that I just I just don't think it's honorable. Like if you want to go about it the easy way, cool. But you know, selling your soul, bro, I never recommend. And so that's why I say like, if this is the song that got him there, I can respect him for how he did it. You know what I'm saying? And then he. You know, he stayed running laps with his pen, and now he became who he became. You know what I'm saying? Like, that 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 comes with effort and just not giving up and consistency, bro, that a lot of these people don't really have. Like, a lot of these young people that's in the industry, bro, they don't have that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, time's changing, too, but it's just like, bro, the thing is, artistry is dying within the industry. Ride the dash straight up a ride for life. I ain't got a nine to five, so I have to ride for mine. Call me Mr. Skateboarder, cause I grind for mine. And I was tired of being brass, now it's time to shine. Ride the dash straight up a ride for life. I ain't got a nine to five, so I have to ride for mine. Call me Mr. Skateboarder, cause I grind for mine. And I was tired of being brass, now it's time to shine. Ride the dash straight up a ride for life. I ain't got a nine to five, so I have to ride for mine. Call me Mr. Skateboarder, cause I grind for mine. And I was tired of being brass, now it's time to shine Don't ever fucking try and tell me I ain't had it hard Cold water for a bath, no food, had to starve Or I can show you ain't nothing like a happy past Sitting in a battle car You know who he remind me of, bro? And I know that he, he ain't fucking with my nigga, though Mac Miller? <laughs> Gonna roast Benny Banks Rest in peace, Mac Miller, man He was, he was a real one, but like Yeah, back really went in the streets, but like that's who he remind me of. You feel me? And I think, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Mac Miller, I don't think Benny Banks, when we ain't talking about streets, we talking about just like, you know, lyrics and then just like your writing, your, his pen. We talking about his pen, right? I just don't think that even over here in the States, Niggas going to get mad at me for this, but I don't think that it's been many people that's done, like, what that I've heard that's had a better uh, entry into, like, an era of rap than Mac Miller. He was different. And he remind me of Mac Miller, but he ain't. On Mac Miller level It's just like I get flashes of Mac You know what I mean But he Just like this video Bro I'm gonna I'm 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 put a comparison up So I gotta Yeah 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 But he Yeah bro He ain't fucking with Mac bro I'm gonna see if I can find a song Like I said They don't rap about the same shit But They got the same caliber of shit He ain't fucking with Mac bro Thinking about a Jaguar All I ever thought about was profit while spagging up Dumb bitch shit now brothers wanna wrap me up Screaming out calm as a bitch when she catches up I just laugh car, I know you pussy yours are acting up I always had it hard, now nah, I never had it easy From when I moved out of mum's I was living greasy No 
food in my fridge, I never had a TV I used to freeze in the night, I never had no heating I hear you say you live good, I don't know the feeling Come my daughter, keep asking daddy why you leaving How am I supposed to tell my kid that her mommy's cheating I just blame it on myself like I didn't mean it Ride it down, straight up I ride for life I ain't got a 9 to 5 so I have to ride for mine Call me Mr. Skateboarder cause I grind for mine And I was tired of being brass, now it's time to shine Ride or die Straight up I ride for life, I ain't got a 9 to 5 So I have to ride for mine Call me Mr. Skateboarder cause I grind for mine And I was tired of being brass, now it's time to shine Alright, bit. So, this video gonna have a little twist to it Hopefully you stay to the end I'm gonna add Mac Miller in here And you gonna see what I'm saying I don't think it, this is one of Max. This is Max. I think his first album is called Kids, and I th we gonna probably end up doing because this was one of my favorite albums when I started listening to Mac Miller. Uh, we gonna do Nikes on my feet. That bitch was hard, but this is what I'm saying. Like when you come, like you got your one of your first. I think it was his first album, if I'm not mistaken. It's the first one I heard, but this is like the one that really got him when Kids came out. Cause I think he came up under Wiz. Wiz really like put Mac Miller on. But I'm saying all this to say, like that's who Benny Banks kind of remind me of. They just different type of people. And Benny Banks grew into he grew what he what he grew into. Uh, R.I.P. Mac Miller. Mac Miller grew into what he grew into. But Mac Miller, like the way he grew as an artist, bro. I don't know. But yeah, that's who Benny Banks kind of remind me of. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Eighty-four million in a motherfucker. Man, my nigga Mac Miller, man. R.I.P. Man, this my boy, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, look at this. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Bro, I remember this shit when it came out, bro. <laughs> bro, they kind of look alike, bro. Like they favor, bro. Real shit. That's why I say he remind me of this. Hurry up, nigga, I ain't got time for all this. Hurry up. This is my shit. This little nigga had a, bruh, this little nigga had an incredible run, bruh. Man, RIP that Fink got his ass, bruh, that shit fucked up, but. <laughs> Pippin's on my feet, they 
Look, my money good, but these hoes bad. So they stay attached to my gonads. Uh, waking up to a few L's. Open up my closet to that new shoe smell. I guess I'm doing well. Smoking all the weed that I used to sell. But once my album goes in the shelves, it's going next. Tell how it's finna sell. For now, we're selling tapes out my shoebox. Any spot just set up my shop. You're mad that your girl always says that I'm hot. She buy my t-shirts, but she's spending your guap. Uh, say what up if you see me around. Nike and yeah, separate my feet from the ground. It's just... Nike's on my feet, keep my cypher complete. Nike, 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 Nike. Man, bruh, that's who Benny Banks kind of remind me of. But they, like I said, they the growth on like the trajectory of like both careers was like vastly different. But see, the thing about Benny Banks is I heard that he got like heavy street cred and like over in the. This is just what I've heard. You can correct me if I'm wrong. And you come at me and bullish in the comments too. I, I really don't care. I'm just going to laugh at you. So if you want to type all this shit out, cool. But uh, is that like y'all really go off for like, if you rapping about that type of shit, you, you uh, like, you got it. Your, your resume got to stand behind that shit. Mac Miller ain't never really rapped about like doing no gangster shit. So boom, all he said, yo, he sold a little weed, all this other shit. But he really was looks like, you know, Talking about what he had going on. Kind of the same shit of what Benny Banks. He talked about depression, battling certain things, girl issues, drugs. You know, just a regular little day in the life shit. But that's who I, uh, I, when I think of Benny Banks, I think that's another reason why I like him so much. But I don't think Benny fucking with uh, Mac, though, when it comes to, like, bars and shit and going bar for bar, song for song, making songs. Benny not fucking with him. But I, I yeah, I de he definitely reminds me of Mac for sure. Mac Miller was different. R.I.P. Mac, man. Man, he was a good one. But anyways, man, it's your boy Chip the Hustle, man. I hope hopefully y'all liked the uh, a quick little comparison. I think I, I'm gonna do more of these. Um, I had I already had all this shit written down. I, it wasn't even my plan to do this. It's crazy. God really came over me today because like, bro. I was just gonna do my little uh, Benny Banks reaction and let that shit be that on that. But then I had uh, something that said, this nigga remind me of Mac Miller. And I was like, let me go ahead and just start it. Cause I actually wrote this down, I was driving home and put it in my notes and I was like, I'm finna start doing these. Boom, 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 boom. I ain't gonna tell you, you just gonna see it, right? And yeah, I just said, fuck it, let's do it. But yeah, out of the two, like I said, they remind me of each other, but yeah. Either way, man, big ups to Benny Banks, man. I'm, 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 I'm happy that he doing what he doing. I love his music, and just keep it going, man. If you ever see this nigga, I'm a fan of yours, bro. You know what I'm saying? And if I ever come to UK, man, look, man, take me out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pop up with you. You know what I'm saying? Show me the best food spots, all that. But anyway, this is your boy, Chip the Hustler, and uh, I appreciate y'all stopping through. Thank you so much.